speaking to John Partridge, who is currently on tour playing the MC in Cabaret. When it came to Nottingham Theatre Royal, we gave it five stars for a truly outstanding production, and we've been promoting it for Curve as well. Um, so now you're about to open, John, tomorrow night, Tuesday 15th of October until Saturday. Have you ever actually been to Curve Theatre before? I have been to the Curve Theatre before, not to perform, I don't believe, but I have seen a few productions there, and notably my husband was in the Curve, the collaboration of Pear Spray, that the last tour that went out that was collaboration with Curve and Mark Goucher, and he played Corny Collins in that production, so I have seen something in the Curve, but I've never performed there like that, so I'm very much looking forward to it. Fantastic. Okay. Before I forget, I've got three people who wish to say hello. Um, so the first, the first one is Nikolai Foster, who can't be there today because he's um, he's the artistic director. I'm sure you're familiar with that. Um, yes. And he's, he's down at the Dominion Theatre re-rehearsing White Christmas for the Christmas transfer over there. Um, so that's Nick, sorry. Nikolai, and um, wish to say hello. And the second one is um, an, an old acting partner um, from a few years ago, Simon Harper. Oh yes, of course. Yeah, you were in Greece together at the Dominion as well, weren't you? That was more than a few years ago. More than a few years ago. <laughs> <laughs> it was only about 25. <laughs> I was being polite. He looks just as young. Uh, <laughs> it was probably 1993, 92. I think it was 93. He told me, yeah. So, um, yeah, so probably 92, 93. Yeah. Just a couple of years ago. And and the we're third one. It well. Sorry. Lama lama lama. Yes. <laughs> The third one, you, you won't know, it's a friend of mine, uh, a lady who lives in Karlsruhe, and um, she's a, a big fan of yours, I understand. Um, her name's Magdalena Heilig, and she saw you in Berlin and Stuttgart playing Rum Tom Tugger in Cats, of course, and also Tom Collins in Rent. And when I told her... Tom Collins, I'm afraid. Tom Collins is played by a black actor. Oh. And they will kind of, uh, I'm afraid the black actor in Rent, so that's what she saw me playing in Rent, I'm afraid, not Tom Collins. That was played by my good friend. David Michael Johnson, who's currently in the UK um, doing the We Were Rock Oh, fantastic. I'm going to tell her off now for giving me wrong information. Uh, that's okay. <laughs> so, I understand you, in your life you've you spent uh, quite a few years in Germany. Would, could you tell us a little bit about uh, that? Um, I moved to Germany initially for love. Um, needless to say, it went disastrously wrong. Um, but rather than come back to the UK with my phone to my legs and uh, to tell everybody what a fool I'd made of myself, um, I decided to stick it out and make it work for me. I initially went out to do to be an understudy in the production of Cats. I wasn't actually on stage every night. Um, but three months after I'd arrived in Germany, they auditioned for a musical Rent, which we had just spoke about, in which I played the role of Roger. I originally been offered Rent in the original London company um, to be the uh, season soloist, um, and I actually turned it down. Um, and so when it's uh, when I just moved to Germany and uh, they were auditioning, they got in touch with me, and I went in. And, uh, successful so I um, left Cats um, only five months since my contract, I've been four months since my contract and I um, did rent uh, and then I ended up staying in Germany for about seven years, eight years on and off over a period of about ten. Um, so yeah, I had a wonderful time there. I met my current husband there. I say current, I've only ever had one. Um, <laughs> yeah, I've only just laughed at me now as I've just got out of the car. Um, and uh, we celebrated our 16th wedding anniversary. So um, just last week. So Congratulations. Today, uh, I have very, very, very friends of my time uh, in Germany. Cool. So I've been looking online, and I'm obviously about your stage biography, um, but also um, I'm not a huge television watcher, so I apologise for not seeing it. Um, but I recognise that you you won the uh, MasterChef in I did indeed. 2018, yes. and you're about to um, launch a, uh, your first cookery book, and that's in April uh, 2020, and it's called There's No Taste Like Home. Yeah, There's No Taste Like Home was the title of my final spend in, in MasterChef. Um, I'm a Lancashire lad, I was born and raised uh, in Radcliffe, Manchester, Lancashire. Um, and my heritage uh, is something that 
about that is the middle and out they have a lot of European and especially the Deutsche products. So if you get yourself down to Lidl or Audi, you can get a delicious Twitter down that maybe five cover in a pack and they are really my guilty pleasure if I'm on it. Perfect. Uh, just to finish up then, uh, just a couple of things that um, I've kind of written down and thought would be amusing. Um, some, while, some while ago I, I interviewed Brian Conley when he was doing his tour of Barnum. This was for a magazine and um, he said to me, and I just wanted to reflect on what you thought about this, um, because I, I guess you've it, this thing has been said about you quite a lot, in particular in, the, in this MC role. Um, so Brian Conley said, please, for God's sake, he says, don't write, I was born to play Barnum. Because I can't stand it, he says. Each time I do a role, that I do Fagin, I do this, I do that. Somebody says, he was born to play it, he says, it's ridiculous. And he laughed about it, but I, I wondered um, if somebody, which they probably have, um, said to you, um, oh yes, you were born to play the MC, what would you think about that? Well, I think people have said that about me uh, within this role. And I think what I'm actually trying to say is, um, people have said that before in parts that he, that he has played uh, in order to flatter him. Wow. Now, maybe they have actually thought that, but basically what he's saying is he doesn't necessarily feel that himself. <laughs> now, I think that's probably our role. I think probably when Brian played Johnson, and had enormous success with that role, and I think if you'd have said that to him about that character, he probably wouldn't have responded in the way that he responded to perhaps saying about the same thing about Brian, because maybe he didn't feel himself as confident in that role sure. as maybe others thought of him. Do you understand me? You know, as actors, we are hyper critical of ourselves. We have to be. You know, especially if you're in a touring production. If you, if you do a touring production, if you do a show in the West End, you open that show and that show runs, you get critiqued once and by, you know, and you, by numerous people, admittedly, but it's one, it's one hit. When you're taking a tour around the country, you are constantly critiqued in each town you go to. You have way more opinions of your performance than you would if you were just in, in playing in one venue. So that can be tough. Especially if um, it's not necessarily a role that you are as like or as other roles. I feel with the MC that this is a role, I would not necessarily say that I was born to play, but I was destined to play. Uh -huh. Because I am able to colour with all the crayons in my pencil face. I am able to garner everything I've learned along the way both personally and professionally, the good, the bad, and the ugly of it all. Because within Cabaret, that is what we deal with. You deal with the good and the bad and the ugly. I've lived in Berlin for 10 years. I've been to the real life Kit Kat Club because it is alive and well. But I'm not going to tell you a lot of the listeners what goes on in there because they probably need to sit down for quite some time. <laughs> Responsibility to take on a 
shall and as this shall uh, shows you know if we continue to cut ourselves off from each other to divide ourselves off from each other it has appalling consequences and as, as people, as humans, we have to find a way to acknowledge each other's differences, accept each other's differences, and exist together. Because if we don't, we don't. Yeah. I totally agree. Ich bin sehr einverstanden. Oh, yeah, I can as well. Okay, well, so we'll, we'll wrap up then. The the quality of the sound doesn't. Some, it's been mostly good, but sometimes it has drifted in and out. So I'll probably end up um, typing this out. So, uh, but, but okay. thank you for your time today. Uh, just to let you know, I'm coming on Wednesday matinee again to see the show. Great. So, so, well, so uh, cool to have you with us at the Kick Out Club. Thank you. Thank you. And th thanks very much for your time today. Thanks so much. Bye bye. Cheers, John. Bye bye.